Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about customizing the SharePoint form using Power Apps. As you see, I have a list of projects here, and the built-in form, the built-in SharePoint form, is uh, not very exciting, and it's also rather long, and the more columns you have, of course, the more uh, difficult this will be to read. So I'm going to improve that. So I'm going to go here under Integrate, Power Apps, and I'm going to customize the forms. And of course, there are three different forms. You need to think about that when you're building your solution. That There's the Display form, there's the Edit form, and there's the New form. But what's happening here in the background is that SharePoint uh, and Power Apps are collaborating, or rather Power Apps are drawing the data structure from the SharePoint app and uh, building a Canvas app based on that information. And as you see, this is now a screen. Did a regular oh. edit form connected to the projects list of SharePoint. So that's the data source. And the ID of this edit form is based on the selected one in SharePoint. So that's how that works. So there is a bit of code in the background here. So as you see, it's... Uh, SharePoint integration, that's the object we're, we're using there. So this is an interesting solution. Anyhow, to modify this further, you can just go in on the SharePoint form and uh, modify which fields you want to make available. You can just add the fields and here are all the, the SharePoint columns that are available. So to make more of these available, you have the title and the project ID. You can just put the uh, budget. You can have the um, funding appropriation, funding recipients, region, states, and the status. All right, let's have uh, those. And there you see you have the entire form filled out with all the drop down stairs. And of course, now we can use all the features of Power Apps to improve this and also put functionality and intelligence into this form. Let's do something that is not so easy to do in SharePoint itself. One thing is, of course, to put things side by side. The easiest way to do that is to simply change the entire form. And if you want a particular field to be taken up the full, then you just change the width of it and it will use the full width of that. We can also, of course, highlight and make some of the things in bold here. So like uh, the budget, let's make this one double also. And then we can make that one in bold also. To just highlight some of that. And then of course we do want the description in here also. So let's go in and modify the fields. And just add the description in here. There you go, the project description. Let's put that in there. And that, of course, should be much wider, and it should be maybe 300 in height. And the control inside should, of course, also be higher, so we can have the enable spell share. It's good for that one, right? And then we do not single line, but multi-line. And then we can do the height. Now we've made some modifications to the default forms here. And of course, remember that you're using Power Apps here. So we're using it now to modify the forms. But everything else that you see in my Power Apps demos or in anybody else's Power Apps demos will also work here also. So you can put buttons in here. You can put tabs in here. You can have multiple screens. It just doesn't have to be one screen. So anyhow, I'm just going to publish this now. And uh, let's see how that looks in SharePoint now. And let's go back to SharePoint. Leave the app. Yep. And now, let's just make sure we refresh this page. And now I can click the new button. And I don't see the new form yet. All right, let's uh, go back to uh, my home page here on my site. And let's go into the projects again and see the new button if it's implemented. There it is. Now it's loading the Power Apps form. And it's looking good. So it, you, I didn't implement any save or cancel and stuff like that. It's already implemented. So, of course, this now works good. 
and I can edit all the information there that I want. So new test uh, project dollars blah blah blah. So let's just save that now, and you see that that works. And let's see an existing item also if that displays well in the form. And yes, it does. When I edit that, it opens up like that in the form. So now, if you want to get back to the default SharePoint form, then you go into list settings and you go under form settings, and there you have the options of using a custom form in. Um, Power Apps, and there, there's also one way to modify that form, and you can use the default SharePoint form back. So uh, then you're back to normal, but using the custom form is the option that we want here, and that's what we've been discussing in this demo, how to modify the built-in SharePoint form and instead use a, a Power App form. Thank you for watching this demonstration.